is mixed up, and it has been for the past year. Was our audience prophetic? It's difficult to say for sure, but when Wearable Art Show audience members voted in February 2020 for the 2021 Wearable Art Show theme, they chose Mixed Up. And here we are. The most mixed up wearable art show in the history of wearable art shows. I'm Diane Palmer and I have been part of the Ketchikan Area Arts and Humanities Council wearable art show from the beginning, 35 years. The show has gone through a lot of changes over those three plus decades. It grew from a tiny show in the tiny Main Street Theater to a huge production every year with four sold out shows, upwards of 40 artists, 250 volunteers, and almost 2,000 audience members annually. But that was pre-COVID, and we will get there again. This year though, while we were still having wearable art, we will not give that up. Not after all this time. It is mixed up. It's weird and it's, well, you'll see. With the restrictions required during the pandemic, the Arts Council had to delay the in-person show and make them smaller. And thanks to an amazing partnership with KPU and the mill at Ward Cove, we provided this film so everyone can safely enjoy our very mixed up wearable art show. We would like to acknowledge that even through all of this, Alaska Airlines has made the commitment to continue to sponsor the Ketchikan Wearable Art Show. We thank them for their generous support of the Ketchikan Wearable Art Show. We are eternally grateful to the handful of dedicated wearable art show artists who persevered to keep this Ketchikan tradition alive during such challenging times. We are thrilled to present their work to you in this film. Grab a beverage and some snacks, sit back, and enjoy Mixed Up, Ketchikan's 35th Annual Wearable Art Show. behind but if your friends don't mask and why don't they mask well they won't fly this airline you can fly if you want to because we do safety right we have air that's clean and disinfectant machines zapping germs like in our cane space fun and we dance do to the, the dance, dance. Do, do the, the dance. dance everybody wash some hands do, do the, the dance do the dance while always wearing a mask do, do the, the dance do, do the, the dance. dance no seriously please wash your hands do the dance, do the dance, have the filters cleaning commence. Alaska safety dance, Alaska safety dance, Alaska safety dance. Hi, I'm Lauren McHugh and I am the teacher at the Artery and we have 16 children involved in a piece they named the Chaos Collective. And they came up with this piece because at the first class we try to sit down and come up with an idea to get us going in a certain direction. Well, it was chaos. There were so many different directions. You know, one wanted to be space, one wanted to be flowers, one wanted to be monster, one wanted to be peace, love and happiness. So being that the theme was mixed up, I was like, this is chaos. And I think a little boy said, yes, it is chaos. It could be chaos. I'm like, you're right, it can be chaos. Let's go with that, that's awesome. So Chaos Collective, we are. And I kind of set everybody out the first day tie-dyeing. That was the general um, piece to connect us all together. Um, I gave one half of the kids warm colors, the other half of the kids cool colors, and they tie-dyed. And from there, they just went whichever direction they wanted to. I'm basically just there to help with structural, questions, um, push them to go further. Like some kids think if they glue a couple things on, they're done. Or they don't have any concept that it's wearable and they have to do the back and be all the way around. So my job as teacher is to just push them to bigger, better, more and have fun with it and not get frustrated. Wearable art can be frustrating because you make a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of trial and error and you have to rip things apart and start again. So it's a, it's a learning curve. And I think they had a lot of fun. We are, we are caught in the middle We are, we are sitting out loud We 
are, we are slaves to the rhythm And you're never gonna bring us down We are, we are still the forbidden We are, we are here and now We are, we are slaves to the rhythm And you're never gonna bring us down We are, we are Posey. The name of the piece is Cosmic Wyvern. Um, uh, Wyvern is a two-legged dragon. It doesn't have the front legs, it only has the back legs. So that's closer to the lines of what I did. I was inspired by a wearable piece a couple years ago. It was a large purple rhinoceros. And I don't know why, but it just sparked um, that idea. And I drew down the like first blueprints of it that day in the backstage of Ted Ferry and it was really awesome. And then I skipped a year because things were getting a little shaky and I didn't know what was going on. And then this year I was like, I'm doing it. It's gonna be awesome. And it turned out pretty neat. I do wearable because it's a chance for me to be someone else on stage without like talking or singing or dancing. And I don't have to choreograph anything. It's just really free moving. I get to use music. It's super fun and carefree. Wyverns are sociable creatures and they enjoy being around others of their kind. But when one gets banished to the stars, it can become a little mixed up. I'm Jerry Baluda. I'm Don Luna. Our piece is called The Dollmaker. 
And last year, our model was the doll. This year, she's the doll maker yeah. in our piece. And we were inspired by the theme Mixed Up. And the pieces in our, our uh, creation is discarded doll parts and discarded, you know, that people just throw away. And so she's collecting them and making something new out of discarded items. And so their pieces are mixed up on the dolls and it's just all a bunch of mixed up parts. So Sewing notions. Sewing notions. What doilies. else do we use? Doilies. Leather. Yep, lots of leather. Tape measures. Yes. Yeah, so it was it was really fun creating yeah. it. We've been doing this together for seven years now. So this is our seventh year here. We're yeah. very excited for this experience. I'm so tired awake, baby. I'm so tired awake. Don't you think that we fade? You see all my bones, scarlet skin. You see right through, scarlet. My name is Carlin Williams, and the name of my piece is Mother Earth, and it's inspired by um, all the things that have been happening this last year, and not being overwhelmed, but picking just one small thing that you can change. So my piece is made up of materials that you can find um, laying on the ground. There's a lot of trash and plastic and metal and just different things around the house and out in the environment that I've picked up and put together for our piece. I was challenged to be a model on one year to get out of my comfort zone and I was immediately captured by the creative process by all the other artists around and this is my fifth year participating in wearable art. It was a pretty quick turnaround this, this time of year so it has took about, uh, about two months total from concept to the music to actually um, creating it with a lot of hot glue and just trying to find the materials. Everything around is full of love. Birds are singing in the sky above. Hi, my name is Aliyah Anderson. And my name is Amber Junker. And our piece is titled Lady Fate and the Wheel of Fortune. We are inspired by the story of a medieval philosopher, Boethius, and his book, Constellations of Philosophy, in which he is just, he's really famous, he's friends with the king, and overnight his luck just changes. While he's in prison, he, was, he had this vision, um, and he realizes just that fate in this world is always changing, that that's the only thing constant. So we are inspired by that story right now with COVID that the world is just collectively feeling the effects of fate. And we uh, actually ended up doing wearable for an unexpected reason. We both unexpectedly ended up in Ketchikan 
we both recently graduated college. She was supposed to go to Canada this year. I was going to go to Germany, but because of the pandemic, we're both still in Ketchikan. Um, but we saw it as a great opportunity to do wearable for the first time. Hey, hi, my name is Dawn Rowolf, and the name of my piece is Ocean OK. And I was inspired by um, the ocean, and I love mosaics. And so I've been snorkeling a lot. I snorkel like every weekend, and it's just been a big part of my life since last summer. And so um, all these things that I see in the ocean, they just knock around in my head like all week long and it's just been this fantastic new thing in my life. Snorkeling in Alaska in the cold water, it's amazing. I can't, I don't know why I didn't do it before now. So anyway, I was inspired by the ocean. So I try to do things like sea urchins and try to do like barnacles and uh, what are those mussels. And so my other passion is I love mosaics. And so I wanted to mix those two things up together. My passion of snorkeling in the ocean and making mosaics. And then it just kind of happened that this came out of it. And um, yeah, what I envisioned in my head is not exactly what happened here, but I'm happy with it. I used copper tubing, I used zip ties, I used glass pieces and mirror pieces. Uh, a lot of things I already had, um, paper pieces, things like that. So super fun. I love being part of the wearable art show. And yeah, so ocean okay. You know what I want. You know what I need. Put your boots on, honey. And take a walk with me. You know what I want. You know what I Um, so this piece was created by Jan Jorgensen and myself, Milva Fuller. Um, it is called Mixed Signals. Uh, Jan and I uh, created this piece because Jan likes to go halibut fishing and she also uh, likes to go beach combing. And so every summer she drives by uh, Mary Island Lighthouse and she had scraps of fabric that she had been creating masks for during the COVID pandemic. So she thought that it was a great idea to make a mosaic um, based on Mary's lighthouse. And this is what the dress is made out of, is the scraps of fabric. And then I created my raincoat based on the old Mary's lighthouse. And this is created for the new Mary's lighthouse. 
And Jan just wanted me to put something else in there and say that this is dedicated to Ricky. Uh, that's very special for her. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm a part of Wearable Arts because I love the creativity and the inspiration that it sparks in the community. Um, I love that it brings a sense of belonging. Um, and it's just a really, it's a great time for the community to come together, but get behind artists and just have a great time. Ain't it funny how this time just flies? Ain't it funny how it goes by? So fast. Ain't it funny how the seasons change? Ain't it funny how the memories stay the same? Hi, my name is Ruby McHugh, and my piece is called Rockfish. Um, what inspired me to create it is just the representation of punk and pop culture. I love the way they express themselves. They don't need any color, even though I did use color in my costume. They don't need color to brighten up their outfits because it's already just has that wow, that pizzazz. And I wanted to create something that kind of had that you know, je ne sais quoi, you know. It, the, <laughs> and I just, I just love the way that that entire culture represents themselves. I, even though they seem a little bit angry, I just, I just kind of understand and I love that type of music, so <laughs> that's why I made it. In general, wearable art is one of my favorite things in the entire world. Every year I look forward to this, even though I never have a lot of time to put my costumes together because I have work and sports and school, but I still manage to make it every time because of my mom. She, she pushes me through everything and I absolutely just adore coming here and seeing all the familiar faces. It's just part of my life, you know, it's been just a routine every year for like for as long as I've been in her stomach. She literally did a costume while I was in her stomach. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
My name is Jackie Kaiser, and the name of my pieces are Mixed Drinks and Metaphors. Nicole Embry is modeling Sailing Off Into a Tequila Sunrise, and Becca Beckett is modeling High and Dry Martini on the Rocks. I had a real hard time coming up with an idea this year. I kept thinking mixed drinks and mixed metaphors, but I didn't really know how to fit them together until my friend Jean gave me sails that had belonged to her husband, Louis Bartos, and he actually made these sails. They're a plastic, um, it's mylar. And I got to thinking there are so many metaphors about the sailing world, sailing off into the sunset, and you can be high and dry if things are going bad. Um, but those also apply to drinks as well. You can be on the rocks in your boat, but you can have a drink on the rocks. You can have a dry martini. So once I got that idea, then the costumes kind of fell together. I've got Nicole sailing off into a tequila sunrise and Becca's high and dry, high and dry martini on the rocks. And so once I got my idea, it, it just kind of came together. It was primarily made out of the sails. It's um, real sort of clear plastic, but believe it or not, it takes dye extremely well. So I dyed the pieces. And then I um, also used some repurposed older pieces with some of the Tyvek and underpinnings are older pieces. And then paper mache your drink swizzle stick, sort of accoutrements to, for their headpieces. I'm Lauren McHugh and my piece is My Bubble. It is modeled by myself and my daughter um, Riley McHugh who has been modeling for the show since she was two and in my belly actually. Um, my piece is inspired by this whole COVID thing and you know I kept hearing my bubble, my bubble, my bubble, stay in your bubble, be in your bubble and to me, bubbles are a happy place. So instead of going with the, um, the moodiness of the whole thing, I thought I would just flip the switch and make it a happy bubble. I mean, I, I wanted it to glitter and shine and be happy and it's COVID fashion.
Hi, my name is Rhonda Green, and I'm a model and artist, and this year my piece is called The Resonator. Um, I actually had no <laughs> inspiration. I was just trying to think of something to, uh, to make pretty much at the last minute. Normally, I'll spend six months on a piece, but I've, everything was just so up in the air, I wasn't sure what was gonna be happening, so. I had been working on a metal piece and I started using a resin pour method. So I thought, hey, why not? And drew up a few pictures and I came up with my piece for the 2021 show, which is called The Resonator. It's made of metal, um, obviously poured resin. I've got some cut up anti-static bags that I recycled from my work. And that's about it. Jump back. Get down. Break out. Guns out. Thank you so much for watching Mixed Up. 
Ketchikan's 35th Annual Wearable Art Show. The artists presented in this film are our most committed wearable art participants. Many of you see them on the runway every year, and they took the time and effort, despite a pandemic, to maintain this beautiful Ketchikan tradition. Ketchikan started the wearable art craze in Alaska, and we won't let anybody forget it or steal our thunder. The Wearable Art Show is a significant fundraiser for the Ketchikan Area Arts and Humanities Council, grossing about 60000 in a normal year. This year is not normal, and the Arts Council could use your help to make sure it can be here for us when things do get back to normal. If you can afford it, please take a moment to make a donation at www.ketchikanarts.org. And, COVID willing, we will see you next year in person on the runway. The Ketchikan Area Arts and Humanities Council gives special thanks to the Rasmussen Foundation for its support. Us? No hiding out there. Yeah, come in. All right. My name is Jerry Baluda. I'm Don Baluda, or <laughs> Don Luna. We're not married, but. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I like the confetti. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If I go past the tape, I can't see it. It's okay. You want us to reintroduce ourselves the correct way, where she's not my my wifey, because. Is that better? Okay. Yeah. Don Baluda. <laughs> what? Okay. I designed the piece, and my my daughter Carly. I'm sorry. Stop. Cut. <laughs> Because you don't want me freezing. I mean, I am freezing, but not freezing, freezing. You can ignore this. It's flying around. Just pretend it's not there. Is this wrong? We already know it's a drone here. Okay.